Hello guys, this is Andy from Mooncake Visual. Hello guys, this is Andy from Mooncake Visual and this time in this video I'm just going to show you quickly how you can customize this level which is the one that I gave away in the previous video. Uh, customization is really really simple. Um, yes, you know, it's not that much modular at this level but I will show you how to make modular through all the tutorials but for now we're just gonna do some simple customization okay so first thing we got here our, our ramp when you click one of those ramps you see they are in this material which is basically the floor material we got the floor material too because this has like less tiling than this but let's suppose uh, that we want to change the color of this border it's, it's just like a global material for it, which is this one. I double click on it. And as you see, I don't have like a color parameter. So I just double click on the material and I just take this one and convert it to parameter. So I'm just call it color and let's save. Okay, so after that, now we should have this color parameter here. Now it's just a matter of tweaking it. Like, let me take it to blue. There you see, now you see it? You see the intensity is kind of hard, that's why it's getting so wide, but this time you see it? This is like blue. And let's put, we have these yellow lamps, which basically, as you can see, we got a light color for them here in the inspector. So we, I just, I'm just going to select all. Let's see, I got them and I just take it to the blue. So I'm gonna take that bluish color. There you go. Or no pink, whatever. Good. So you see it? Now also I have uh, this white border, which is this emissive material. If I go to this, you can see it there. I double click on that. As you can see, I have the color parameter. I just take it to the color I want. And that's it. As you can see, I'm changing the colors of it. Uh, I can move the lights, I mean the position of these lights, and something you must know is that, for example, if I do this, I change the color, you see that those meshes here are using, oh, what, what, what is it? oh you see, it's using the emissive for static light, so which means is that when you build the light, the emission from these meshes will affect the global illumination so i'm gonna need to select select them all again and rebuild my light but let me just make sure that all of them have it checked there you go i'm safe and i'm going to build my light okay just build my light now let's wait for it to import now you see how the whole environment changes but now i got this like color move in my scene uh, yes, uh, also, if you see here this material, the one for, this is actually a blueprint, but if you go to its component, the plane, you see it got this screen material, which is basically a dynamic one, but if I open the blueprint, from here, and then I choose from here, and then I say the pulse screens, see it this is basically the material and this material worked this way let me just show you let me open my quick bp and oh again yeah, guys this is running on unreal engine 4.26 so make sure that you're on that version uh okay let me just hit play now you see i'm on it it's just i need to change the camera there we go and you see if I, where is it, fade my screen, let me just, this for a file path for a video, let me Okay, now let me just go back to my, basically there, now I have, if I see it, fade, now you see low that video. It depends on what URL I put there, so we have this. There you go. So I'm going to toggle. Uh, also, we have this poster. You see it? I will show you how to modify it. And also, we have this. 
yeah this blueprint so that was basically what we have and first i'm on game show mode so this is basically with the with the jiki in your case oh so if i press the jiki you should now be able to see all that and the first thing is i got this this poster can be i can change it it's material as you can see if i go here to the main poster you can see this the material and i have this main poster texture that i can load whatever texture i want and also here for these materials for these i'm sorry for these awards i can change the colors you see it so if i switch this i pick this one so i can switch the color and also if i want to modify the the icon i got this material this which is material based on this award if i double click on it you see that we got this texture which is basically an alpha because i'm just only giving a chat uh, a color here so you change this for any alpha or if you want to use like a colored logo you just put this here and then take the alpha and put it there and that's it okay so basically this is how you can customize it your customize this on uh, later tutorials i'll be showing you guys how to load ndi how to load sdi and all the stuff but for now i just wanted to show you uh an easy customization okay <laughs> hope you like guys and don't forget to subscribe share if you like it and comment and thank you